So, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to share some one recent research article yeah, published in PNAS. So, the, this article title is like Nuclear Mechanosensing Control Stem Cell Osteogenic Potential Through Acid Dark Epigenetic Remodeling. So, before understanding this research, maybe some people will not familiar will not be familiar about this epigenetics. So simply, the basic concept of epigenetics is like here. So let's say this um, chromosome, and then when this chromosome are acetylated, this red one is acetylation, acetylated, they can open some site to make some kind of protein or transcription factor. So that is why when your chromosome want to activate it, they acetylate it. And then they open their transcription activation site like this. And then now RNA synthesizing protein, they can bind and they can make protein. But in other way, if you turn off this certain activation protein or transcription factor, they deacetylate it. So the enzyme to induce deacetylation is histone deacetylation. Yeah, this is called HDA. Okay. So when you want to turn off the protein, the chromosome are induced by HDA to deacetylation. And then when they want to turn on, they are histone acetyltransferase. They make some acetylation. So simply, acetylation turn on, deacetylation turn off. So what will happen during this uh, pathway? So when you are aged, your chromosomes are deacetylated. So they tend to be turned off. Okay? And then when you are differentiated, they turn on. Specifically, some transcription factor late to your tissue. Uh, so this turn on to turn off is done is performed by aging and then this turn turn on performed by some reprogramming to IPC or sometimes differentiation or sometimes some cell behavior cell spreading. Yeah. So this is turn on is a little bit complicated in specific pathway they can turn on and turn off but basically generally when this uh, deacetylation happen during the aging the most of the protein or signals are turned off and then nowadays people want to look at this h tag inhibitor so this is a little bit complicated actually deacetylation inhibitor so which means acetylation so when this h tag inhibitor are treated in your cell, they inhibit this turn off pathway, which means they turn on. Okay? So when we are using ACE inhibitor, you just say certain chromosomes are turned on from the acetylation. This is the basic uh, biology during your during this paper. And then this this paper is very simple. Yeah, performed by Christy Anses. Yeah, very famous woman scientist in this Coronado University. So increase of stiffness using the gel induced HDAC inhibitor effect, which means turn on certain gene on human MSC in 2D culture. So specifically, this increase of stiffness on human MSC induced cell nucleus spreading, laminate intensity increase, which means nuclear tension increase and more acetylation and then more lungs to yap localization in nucleus. Actually, these other things are very well known. But in this article, they correlate this increase of stiffness and then acetylation. Because other laminar intensity, cell nuclear spreading and lungs to yap localization is very well known from the last five years. So let's look at it in detail. Yeah. So they make some in-situ stiffening hydrogel using PEG, 
which means they light on this tip from 1 kilopascal to 10 kilopascal and then the cell start to spread okay this initial stiffening they make this gel and then they confirm when they light on shorten time from 1 to 13 kilopascal they increase the stiffness and then they check the shear storage modulus tip around 13 kilopascal and then 1 kilopascal and now this is some um, their uh, how they do the experiment after one day sitting light on and then the soft gel stiffen in situ way in situ means on the way the cell are attaching on the gel without uh, detaching or tipsinization and then they collect once three 24 hour and three days and five days and then first they check laminacy laminate intensity uh, after stiffening one day, no change, but three and five days, they change. Laminate is little increase, which means the nucleus get tension from the substrate. Mm. Uh, they uh, visualize it affecting <coughs> and laminate intense laminate structure in this uh, ICC images. So obviously laminate is highly expressed. And then when you see the cell also look yeah seems to spread over time. And then maybe affect intensity. Yeah, they didn't look at in detail. And then for confirming this laminate intensity, they do Western blood. They they, they confirm laminate is highly expressed in nucleus. And then, yeah, and then they quantify like this. And then this their yeah, quantification. So oh, okay. Is Cell membrane, and nucleus membrane protein. Nucleus membrane protein. Because uh, here is the green color. Where is this? Nu protein? Nucleus. Yeah, and when you see this. Uh, you can see the nucleus direction and this membrane direction. Protein. Yeah, actually, they didn't get the uh, same, same, same. Laminate, laminate intensity from this one. Oh, okay. but Normally, people get the same, same thing. Yeah, but in here, they didn't like that. They didn't do that. Yeah, that same cell. Yeah, they, they, they just gather very best images. And then they quantify cytoplasm area per cell and nucleus area. Yeah, increase of cytoplasm area, which means they are flattened and they are spreading out. And then nucleus area also reflect the flattened the nucleus. And then the laminacy genes pressure also increase here. And then taken together, the cell react the stiffened gel, and then uh, nucleus laminacy and then cytoplasm also they are influenced. Next step is they check acetylation quantity. So acetylation, which means that acetylation increase, they Reflect and they expect that more differentiation because they can turn on certain specific genes. So more acetylation happen over time, and then lungs to level also. This is more cytoplasm spread out, but they over time they go inside. So we can say lungs to our uh, nucleus localization, and then other, and then there. Acetone isolation intensity quantified like this, and then their protein level quantified like this. The lungs too also, yeah, very well known. So we, we can say that at least three days, uh, they the cell should be cultured on certain stiff gel, and then they tend they tend to adjust and they show something. And then other uh, markers related to osteogenesis or adipogenesis. This may be stem cell marker. Yeah, no long cell specification. Yeah. They just generalized. This is some generally the isolation. Mm. Yes. Lamine. 
But uh, when, when I remember that paper in cell using flexor system, maybe they also, when, when we induce some tensor force to the fibroblast, uh, epithelial cell, there are more oscillation and then more phenotype change. Yeah. 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 No oscillation, uh, laminate, no change. No change. Only histone 3 K9 me change, right? They didn't check the total isolation. Could they maybe uh, they check other cell which have less laminacy basal level? And then in that case, the laminacy is increased, right? Under tensor force. Remember? But the reason why the epithelial cell doesn't react like tensor force, because their basal laminacy level is already high. I think, yeah. I, yeah. They tell us like that. So depending on the basal laminacy level, yeah, laminacy can change or show instance. In this article they mentioned, previously already reported in in vitro and in vivo condition, this acetylation, high acetylation occur in osteogenic condition. They back up like that. Yes, stiffness. So, suppose there's not hydrotherapy, uh, the final IUP line, mm -hmm. and the uh, CPA Right. So, we always provide uh, 10 to 15 minutes, mm -hmm. just to be provide 5 minutes, mm -hmm. so that the CPA form is not here. Right. So, it's soft, and then after that, it's just a little bit, and then after the next day, right, right, right. again, you'll be like, right, right. So, the CPA is going to be increased, right. Increase, right. So, you can also, so, they will produce this. Right, right. Absolutely. Mm, possible. Mm. So, uh, and then they want to do some mechanic mechanism study. So, maybe people, maybe you guys, someone are familiar with this Nashi and Kashi. So, what is the meaning Kashi? Kashi is when the Kashi plasmid are infected. The actin and nesprin binding, they lose. So the tension cannot transmit to the nucleus. So normal nucleus, because of the endogenous cache, the actin cytoskeleton, they link to nesprin, the protein in the nucleus membrane, and then this from this nuclear membrane, nesprin and sun complex, they can connect to laminase directly. But when they introduce DN cache, which can uh, remove the binding between cytoskeleton and nesprin, they are losing. Yeah. So when you look at this DNA cache, you just imagine there is no uh, force transmission from the cytoskeleton to, to, to nucleus. So m cherry is some, some yeah, induction control. So m cherry DNA cache they are losing the interaction between cytoskeleton and nesprin. And then in the same way, their culture. So m cherry control, lungs to and acetylation increase. But in case of this DNA DN cache, they are losing. They come from. So which means that the force should be transmitted to the nucleus through this cytoskeleton, nesprin, <coughs> and laminase complex. And then this lungs to expression decrease, and then M cherry, the stiffening gel increase lungs to for DN cache, no change. A activity 
yeah, decrease. Yeah, H activity decrease. Uh, actually, H E F G A. This is first. So they want to know. So H star related gene how they express. So H star decrease, which means then more oscillation. Okay. So more oscillation, no change. More oscillation, no change. More oscillation, no change. From A stack one, two, three, and then literally they check A stack activity using some Lucifer adjustment decrease. So from this uh, experimental set, this kind of stiffening gel they react like A stack inhibitor. So this A stack one, two, three is well known A stack gene to induce the acetylation. But on this stiffening gel, they decrease, which means stiffening gel induce some A stack inhibitor activity. And then, yeah, now they want to look at TSA. TSA is some single chemical as a A stack inhibitor. So confirm the A stack activity. TSA they are treated. MSC they are losing the A stack activity, and then. Instead of stiffening gel, they treat TSA. And then same manner. Uh, uh, yeah, TSA in this DNA cache stem cell. In case of DNA cache, because there, there is no link, the nucleus membrane and the cytoskeleton, no oscillation and longs to. But in case of Stiffening, when they treat TSA as a tag inhibitor, they isolate, isolation increase. And then, nucleus, interestingly, nucleus area, longs to co localization, are also increased without stiffening. So, they mention like that TSA can replace, replace the gel stiffening. Yeah, so, they want to say gel stiffening is controlling the A stack activity. And then they check this uh, in, in vivo tissue from the human. So yesterday I shared one link. They selling their osteoarthritis tissue from the human. And then this is from same age from human donor bone. And then this is some osteoarthritis bone. They find out osteoarthritis bone, they are losing oscillation. Yeah, they, they sell tissue and sell together. The paraffin section tissue or normal tissue, any kind of fixed tissue, they, they are selling. And then check their limonase intensity and then the ACE that activity gene from the uh, sold tissue, they, they confirm their hypothesis. In disease, osteoarthritis tissue, bone tissue, they are losing acetylation less mRNA laminacy level, and then more a stack activity. And then they, this end of the story. Yeah, right. They gather this tissue from the company and they analyze.